Hey everybody, Fishman here. Welcome to another video. This is part two for my little DIY build for a small sink that I'm going to attach to my overflow system. Now I could have just gone out and bought a, you know, a small little sink and plumbed that in. Or because this is all standard uh, piping, I could have just gone out and bought the fittings and bushings and all that sort of stuff. And just cut and glue that all together and it would work. But as I said in part one, I wanted a flush bottom on this to avoid that little pool of water that can gather in the bottom of these things when you're using bushings. So in part one I uh, cut and drilled and rounded out that piece of uh, quarter inch PVC and I attached it to uh, the tube. And now what I'm doing here is I am trying to true this up a little bit. As you can see it's still off by about uh, three or four thousandths of an inch. That's because this is extruded plastic and there's just no way of getting it completely true and three or four thousand is actually pretty good for uh, this kind of material and the reason why i'm doing it is because i want to just machine off that little bit of uh, glue buildup you see there and i don't want to end up gouging uh, too much into uh, the actual extruded plastic even though it's a quarter inch thick i think it'll just uh it would ruin the look of it i guess but anyway, I just wanted to clean that up, and the other thing is to keep my hand in it. Uh, well, I don't machine tons of plastic, especially PVC, uh, so when I get this opportunity, I want to make sure you know keep those uh, skills at least reasonably <laughs> used. So here you go. Uh, you can see even uh, running it through the lathe and everything else, there's always just a little bit of a glue build up there that you just can't get rid of. Uh, it is not the same as uh, gluing acrylic, which you'll see later on. So I've cleaned up the back end, now I'm just going to chamfer the top end. I cut myself way more often on plastic uh, when it has a sharp edge like that, just by running your finger along it and getting a little paper cut. <laughs> I always like to just remove that. Now this is a standard inch and a half ABS elbow. And what I'm going to do here is, you can see the fitting edge there, it's rounded. And that, that's just the standard way it comes. It's uh, an injection molding, so it's not something that they have any uh, real accuracy with. And I want to flatten that edge out and also make sure it is uh, true from one end to the other, nice and perfectly flat. And not just in the edge itself, but in the whole shape of it. Uh, just so I get a much uh, firmer weld when I glue this uh, onto uh, the rest of this, well, the rest of the sink. And again, not really necessary because the actual uh, welding should be enough for that joint. The other thing I was thinking about doing instead was just adding, uh, there's a little ring at the bottom I'm using, uh, and that's going to hook into this. I thought about just adding another one of those, but again, I don't really machine that much in the way of ABS, so I thought I would uh, give this a try. And like I said, uh, machining Dolrin is really uh, straightforward, and that's the plastic I actually uh, machine the most and I make fittings out of that all the time but every now and then I need to attach something to PVC or ABS and it is just a good idea like I said just to keep those skills from getting too rusty and so I got a nice flat uh, finish on this and I will weld that up to uh, the rest of the sink uh, well the rest of the PVC and uh, that will be the basis for uh, my sink now as I said in the beginning of this, uh, one of the reasons for doing it this way is to be able to have add-ons. So I am going to also uh, machine one add-on for this. Uh, there are some other ones that are going to come later on. I do want to put in screens and sieves and that sort of stuff so I can do some other sorts of things with it. And not just to keep duckweed from going down it, but to also be able to um, screen out different types or different sizes of uh, scuds, shrimps, uh, Daphne maybe as well, uh, just to see if I can get as much use out of this thing, see I'm going to the trouble of making it. So this is a really easy glue up and there is literally no way of doing this style of glue up without getting, uh, as you can see here, the PVC glue all over the place. So I'm going to try and be as neat as possible with this. Uh, but it's one of those things that uh, you just have to be quick when you do the actual gluing part and then uh, wipe as fast as possible. The nice thing about it being gray like this, it will really not show up at all on uh, the PVC. So <laughs> that part's good at least. Uh, it's just the black. Uh, and, well, like I said, it's just trying to keep it neat. 
So I decided because I do an awful lot of work with acrylic anyway, I thought the add-on I would make for this uh, this time is going to be uh, out of acrylic. Uh, <laughs> just because, like I said, there's a few, like I said, there's techniques I want to work on. There's I'm still working on uh, getting that bubble-free look, and you're going to see a different way of doing that sort of uh, glue up, and hopefully you'll, uh, it'll improve it. So there you go, wipe it all off, and that is as good as it needs to be. And, that, and definitely as <laughs> strong as it needs to be, too. So as I said, I'm going to switch over to uh, doing some acrylic now. This is going to be an add-on that is going to fit inside of the sink, and it's going to have a bunch of different purposes, but I won't really get to those in this video here. I just want to show you um, the ways of adding add-ons. Now, in the first video, I said I was going to machine down uh, the inside of the sink part itself and then have other PVC fittings um, slide into that. Uh, but instead of doing it that way, I decided that because acrylic, uh, I mean, I do an awful lot of work with it anyway, and it's not hard to do, it also gives me that nice clear look that I can use for, uh, you know, seeing what's going on inside of it, I decided to go that route instead. And as you can see here, what I'm doing is I've oversized the round piece here. I made it um, a little over an eighth of an inch uh, bigger than it needs to be. So I am uh, welding it from the outside, and then any little bit of acrylic glue that um, basically you know it will weld the second it touches anything. So before it actually gets to uh, dry out, it does sometimes discolor the edge of the uh, of the acrylic there. So because it's on the outside, I'll just machine that off and hopefully we'll have a nice clear bubble free joint. Now the reason why I'm doing this, uh, this is aluminum and I need a bracket to reinforce how the sink is going to attach onto uh, well the overflow system, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bracket here that is going to be bolted onto the frame for the rack. And that's going to give me a really um, steady and solid um, anchor point so that if I bump into this, which is going to happen, I mean, that's, I mean, face it, it's a fish room, I'll be moving around, I'll be doing stuff, and uh, banging into it, I don't want it to, you know, to crack any of the fittings or anything, so this is going to be my reinforcing for that. And now the reason why I am doing this uh, round like this is, I mean, normally a bracket I would just, you know, attach it to the PVC or the uh, ABS or whatever, and then uh, just bolt it on from there or glue it on or that's something along those lines. What I'm going to do here is the same thing I've been doing all along for the acrylic and the PVC fittings is I'm going to, once this is rounded out, I'm going to put it in uh, the three, uh, again, in the three jaw chuck, and I'm going to bore out the hole for it so that it snugly fits over uh, the ABS pipe. So I don't have to actually glue it onto it. It'll just fit there and hold it from moving in any kind of direction. And obviously, uh, I could have done this square, and then I could have just drilled holes for it. But I would have had to put the four jaw chuck on and then uh, balance that all out. And I found I thought this would just be easier because I already had this arbor made. So yes, I could have done it with a four jaw chuck and had not have to bolt it onto something. It would actually just be solid right from the very get go. But like I said, this is just I had the uh, machining done this for acrylic. And I just want to show you guys doing it for aluminum. It's, it was the simplest way of doing it, uh, which seems kind of weird. All right, so back to the acrylic. As you can see, right at the top, there is a little bit where the glue has um, discolored right at the very, right where my finger is in there now. So all I'm going to do now is put this in and uh, just machine that edge off, and that will give uh, a nice clean joint in the end. Now again, because this is extrude, I mean you can really see the extrusion lines <laughs> even on this short piece as this turns here. Uh, extruded uh, acrylic is nowhere near round. But I'm trying to get around those sorts of things. Uh, the piece of plywood that I machined down here to fit on the, snugly on the inside uh, first off forces it to be round 
And secondly, uh, it allows me to uh, really grip the piece of acrylic in uh, the chuck so that I can get a nice firm grip on it. And between those two things, I've gotten rid of part of the issues with doing this sort of process. And hopefully, um, by welding from the outside in this case, and then uh, machining it down, I'll get rid of the last part of the problem with uh, doing this sort of thing. And that is getting rid of those little bits of uh, weld marks that uh, show up when you're doing uh, methylene chloride. Someone mentioned a little while ago that I can use one of the really pasty versions, uh, the higher number of course, for weld-ons, and that is a way of doing that as well. Uh, I just find methylene chloride is just fast, as I've said many times, it's just faster and easier to work with for me, and I don't really want to get into uh, getting additional glues if I can get this to work. And let's have a look. So as you can see, it actually turned out... Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, it's fairly bubble free, and you can't really see that. Um, well, uh, <coughs> the part that was a little bit uh, discolored. So I didn't bother showing you this. Uh, this is the pipe now. It's attached. Uh, it's just, well, like I said, it's just drilling and bolting two pieces of aluminum onto the frame. That'll give me a lots of rigidity there. And again, I don't have to glue or anything like that. That's just as is. And then I, uh, again, off camera, just glued and uh, leveled, uh, well, the sink. This is my standard, this is the part that doesn't come off. Uh, this is just bolted in place and glued in place, and it's going to sit there, and I can just pour water down it if I want. This is going to make it so I don't have to go across the room every time I have a little bit of water I've dipped out of an aquarium, especially if I'm just doing a little bit of surface skimming. Uh, but, like I said, this is the part that I'm really actually interested in. This will allow me to put screens in here, and of course I'll do other versions of this as time goes on, and this is something I can actually work with. I'll probably put a little plug in the bottom of this at some point as well, and uh, like I said, screens and all sorts of other stuff. And all this is, is that thing you saw me build, the acrylic tube with the bottom on it. And all I did is added a little extension to it, and that extension has a ring on it, so it's self-centering and it just sits in here and I can just pull it out like this and then uh, clean it or whatever and because it's all open at the bottom it'll drain easily and just pops right back in. So there you go that is my version of a little sink for my fish room and I hope you like it and definitely leave comments below let me know what you think of it and as always if you like this style of videos please uh, leave a like or a subscribe as you feel fit and I will see you on Friday's video, and thanks for watching, and uh, bye for now.